we will explore the evolution of the information system models and the role of accountants in the accounting information system. The following AIS models in this lesson are the manual process model, flat file model, database model, RAIA model, and the Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP. Let's start with the manual process model. The manual process model is the oldest and most traditional form of accounting systems. It constitutes the physical events, resources, and personnel. It involves the physical task of record keeping as this uses manual preparation of documents, updating records and files, and preparation of reports. The flat file system is also known as a standalone application, which means that the system is independent of another system. It has its own database. It updates its own database. It does not update the databases of other standalone applications. The flat file model describes an environment in which individual data files are not related to other files. And users in this environment own their data files rather than share them with other users. Let's use a diagram to better understand the flat file model. The diagram shows three related departments, accounting, marketing, and product services. Accounting uses a billing accounts receivable software to process data and generate information about customers and their receivable balances, sales invoices, and cash receipts. The data are stored on several databases that are not linked to the databases of other departments. The marketing department is using a product promotion software to add a new or update existing customer records and record sales invoices sent by accounting. The data processed by marketing are stored on customer database and sales invoice database that are independent of the database of accounting and product services department. The product services department is using a service or delivery scheduling software to record also data about customers and delivery schedules. The data processed by this department are stored on databases that are also independent of the database of accounting and marketing. Based on the diagram, the flat file is costly in data storage because each department maintains its own databases. The databases are not current because if one department updates its database, the other databases of other departments are not updated. For example, if marketing adds a new customer to their database, the accounting and product services department does not have yet that new customer on its own databases. They have to request that data from the marketing department and record the new customer to their own databases. The departments have to rely also only on the data and information that can be retrieved from their own databases. If these databases are not current, this results in inaccurate data and information that may negatively affect their decision-making. The disadvantages of the flat file model 
are resolved by the database model. The most striking difference between the database model and the flat file model is the pooling of data into a common database that all organizational users or departments share. The new record or updates made by one department are saved on the shared database. The departments can also use data from other departments for their decision making, provided access has been granted by the database administrator. Notice on the diagram that an integration software called DBMS or Database Management System integrates the accounting software or application being used by each user or department and the shared database. This integration software acts as a checker if the user has access to certain data from a shared database. If the user has access, such data will be displayed on the computer screen or what we call user view of the user. The RAYA model stands for resources, events, and agents. Examples of resources are cash, inventory, and equipment. Events refer to transactions. Agents mean people, such as employees, customers, and suppliers. The RAYA model is an accounting framework which is used for modeling an organization's critical resources, events, and agents, and the relationships between them. Once the three are specified, both accounting and non-accounting data about these transactions or phenomena can be identified, captured, and stored in a relational database. A relational database is a collection of information that organizes data points with defined relationships for easy access. In a relational database, there are several tables. Each table has rows of data. Each table is related to another table. The diagram on the screen illustrates a relational database for sales and collection transactions. For example, there is a customer table, sales invoice table, inventory line item table, product table, and cash receipt table. Each table has data. For example, the customer table has the following data. Customer account number, Customer name, address, telephone number, credit limit, and many more. The primary key on this table is the customer account number. Another example is the sales invoice table. It has the following data. Invoice number, invoice date, shipping date, terms, customer account number, and many more. The primary key on this table is the invoice number. Now, how are the two tables related? For example, the customer table and the sales invoice table. Notice that the sales invoice table has a customer account number. This means that for every sale, a customer is associated. Enterprise Resource Planning is an information system model that enables an organization to automate and integrate its key business processes. These key business processes include sales, distribution, asset management, human resources, inventory management, budgeting and planning, and so forth. Each of the business processes is related to other business processes. 
each business process involves significant data that needs to be collected, processed, stored, and communicated to interested users. Vision, Oracle, and PeopleSoft are examples of ERP system. This ERP systems are accounting software that is composed of multiple programs that can handle data of integrated business processes. Now, what are the potential roles of accountants in the accounting information system? Accountants can be end users, which means users of the applications or programs. As end users, accountants must provide a clear picture of their needs to the professionals who design their systems. For example, the accountant must specify accounting rules and techniques to be used, internal control requirements, and special algorithms such as depreciation models. Accountants can be system designers. Accountants are known to have knowledge of the business processes and data needed. They can be designers of the information system. They work with ID programmers with the design of the system. Finally, accountants can be system auditors. Accountants can perform assurance services with respect to the information system used by a business organization. They can also go to the direction of ID audit and internal auditing of information system. Are you ready to learn more about AIS? Click the video on the left screen for the next module.